Hi, Dan Paladin, bringing you another episode of the Mortgage Marisol. On this episode, I wanted to update you on an ITIN program. They have a new guideline to allow self-employed borrowers. And just to refresh your memory, ITIN borrowers do not have social security numbers, if you will. Okay, so uh, what they've allowed now is 24 months bank statements for the self-employed borrower. You do have to have a minimum of 20% down. Uh, property types can be single family, uh, two to four units and condos. Your occupancy type does run all of them. You can have it as a primary, a second home and an investment property. Though the investment properties have a max LTV of 65%. Uh, your minimum loan amount is gonna be 150,000. Uh, loan option types are gonna be uh, 7-1 arm or you can actually have a 30 year fix as well and that's gonna have a price adjustment to it. So that's it on the update for the ITIN program. Feel free to reach out to me with any questions in that regard or any other type programs or scenarios you may have. And remember, I am your working weekend lender. If you need any help with buyers or pre-approvals, I will do all I can to get them approved and uh, get you into escrow. So if you're working, I'm working, and I will see you next time on The Mortgage Morsel.